<laughs> um, well, basically she comes to me, and so I'm, you know, I serve as her proxy, really, in, in all this. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very complicated plan that, that <laughs> this season has in store. Uh, and, you know, it's a lovely, very lovely relationship that we have between each other as kids. And that... I don't know if you've seen the first episode, but we saw the first two. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she's lying <laughs> um, to everybody else, and and yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's you know, it's gonna be a, a bumpy ride through the season in terms of her wanting justice and, and how I fit into that. Um, and it's a great dynamic with the Ewings and her and I. What can you say about that relationship? Does it turn romantic at some point, or are they kind of trying to stick to just business? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do we write that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Like these rugs. <laughs> it means everything. <laughs> do we get to explore some of their history? Because obviously, we, we've heard about their history, but do we see any of their history in flashback? No, we don't see flashback, but we definitely know that you know they they grew up together. Right. And uh, they were thick as thieves with, with uh, also Kuno's character and Karu. Um, and you know, her family really did something amazing for me when I was a kid. Um, that was a street child, you know, selling chiclets in the corner in Mexico. We were friends in the street, and, and she asked her mother to take me in. So we pretty much are siblings, really. Uh, and you know, once they left, once they left um, uh, Mexico and went to live in Dallas, I stayed, and, and, and I kind of grew up to be, um, you know, quite savvy, streetwise and money-wise. So that's how that's how I made my money, and then became quite rich. So, oh, you should. A lot of these characters, you mentioned that she's lying, a lot of them are very dislikable, but we still really like them. Why is that? Why are we attracted to these quite villainous people? These are so interesting. Mm -hmm. you know, they don't just have one face. Yes. They have many faces. And that, for an audience, is kind of like a car crash that you want to happen. <laughs> you know? Because you know it's not going to end up well. And, uh, and Nicolas has a lot of that. Like, the character himself is very, I wouldn't even say two-faced, he's like ten-faced. <laughs> <laughs> um, he has a lot of, yeah, a lot of faces for, for different situations and, yeah. and, and that's, that comes from, you know, being maybe um, street savvy and, and having yes. grown up in the streets and he's very quick, he's almost like a gambler, mm -hmm. you know, and that serves him uh, very very well. Yes. Um, I mean, it gets it gets darker. You know, it starts kind of fun, and it gets darker through the season. But um, but yeah, it's it's really fun to play because uh, I'm never the same person with different characters. Good. I'm, I'm you know I'm given the thanks to Cynthia, who's a genius. <laughs> I'm given the chance to be an actor. You know? yeah. This guy's a very good chameleon. Okay. What can you see about his relationship with Ewing? Because he is going into this, like you said, as an actor, kind of playing this part, doing this for Elena. Mm -hmm. But he also doesn't, he could be destroying these people's lives as he's getting to know them. Does he have any regrets? Does he have any second thoughts about what he's doing? No. He's just mm -hmm. blindly loyal to her. Yeah, I mean, there's, um, yeah. Yeah, no, this. He may look like he cares, but. Um, but there's, I mean, I think Elena is the most important at this moment. Um, and, you know, as the season unravels, there will be other factors thrown in there. But, um, but no, his relationship with the Ewings is, is tense. Does he ever worry? Elena's a pretty, I mean, she's a good person with a pretty good moral compass, and she's kind of moving away from who her core person is with this plot. Mm -hmm. Does he ever worry that she's going to lose herself? Or is that something he's not really concerned with? Um, that's a good question, actually. Because um, she goes through a lot, and it's true. She, she kind of 
veers off uh, what we're used to seeing her as. Um, but ultimately, I think this passionate Elena is, you know, is, 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 I don't know, is the most interesting one and, and the most true to what Nicholas knows. Um, you see the fire in Elena in this season. And, um, and it kind of goes back to her roots. So, so no. I don't think he worries about that. I mean, yes, there's an element of kind of moving the pieces and, and, and doing a chess game mm -hmm. and the whole what's, what's going to happen here. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's just, I don't know. He goes with the flow. There's a lot of twists and turns, and going back to him being a chameleon, uh, it's about making the best move, because things will change, you know. There's a plan, but then the plans, plans fall apart, so it's kind of like knowing where mm -hmm. to take it. And speaking of 